Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning yeah. from Vézelay, from the Fountain of Mary Magdalene, where we're celebrating her feast day today. And uh, yesterday we had a commemoration uh, for the Catharis last night and the Basilica's big bell started to ring to announce the vigil of Mary Magdalene just as we were starting to go into our meditation. It was really beautiful. Yeah, it's the moment that uh, the, the Monastique de Jerusalem, the monast Monastery of Jerusalem here, are starting their festivity day and honoring Mary Magdalene and uh, that is something we will be doing all of us here today uh, welcome I see people from all over the world again from New Zealand the UK everywhere and uh, we are here with a beautiful group of people from all over the world too and uh, we are joining hearts together this morning because for us, that is what this life is uh, all about in the end. So um, we will be sharing with you a few things that might be in the field before we get started. And that has to do with, uh, with the work that is going on at the moment with the diamond Christ body that we are developing at the moment. And uh, the, the development or the, the evolution of this body is taking uh, yeah it's taking uh, very high levels at the moment and these frequencies that are coming in are quite intense and this is exactly what we are needing uh, what we need for the coming time so that we become fully transparent and that everything is out of the way that is not filled with love and light and light in love so that could have an impact on your body. So you might feel uh, sometimes tired or even exhausted or feel specific sensations in your body. If so, just be with it and, and watch it and observe it and, and stay open. Stay open to the flow of life because it will take care of itself. Yeah, and give yourself time to rest and give yourself time for the body to adjust and yesterday we were speaking about the fundamental importance of staying empty that it's really a practice to stay empty and allow this to to happen yeah and it was we were giving this message this week about uh, working with the winds as an important element to stay empty so every time we feel the wind, we can envision ourselves being the wind itself and become totally empty and let it take away everything that is not good for you anymore, that you can let go of, that is from other moments in time or other moments in your consciousness. So um, yeah, use the wind, use the elements to, to play with. They are here for us and they are asking to unite with us as we are reuniting with all of the people around the globe at the moment. Mm. So, is there anything else you would like to say on this sunny, beautiful day, <laughs> Mary Magdalene's feast day? It's maybe good to say that in uh, other parts of the world and also in the south of France, Mary Magdalene's day is having its festivity on the 21st of March but it's uh, within the, the, the Christian tradition, more or less. Mm -hmm. it, is, uh, it is on the 22nd of July. And while we are here, we follow that moment in time, but we honor her every day. Mm. And uh, actually, after we finish our meditation today uh, with the group that is here and with many other people that have come here to participate in the celebration, we will be following uh, a ritual that happens here every year where the reliquia of Mary Magdalene are carried from the bottom of the hill of Vézelay all the way up through the main street to the basilica, which is then followed by a mass. So this is a tradition that is held here every year. 
and uh, we will um, we will participate in that and afterwards we will have a big feast with everyone who is here so you can join us in spirit yes. <laughs> for this fest <laughs> but the lucky ones here will be partying together yeah. but we will be partying partying with you with us because we feel you so close so thanks for being here and having said that we use this beautiful time of the day here in France in Vézelay when the sun is rising as you can see to use the strength of the sun the sun is really changing and working with us in whole new ways so um, let's get ready for our meditation mm. and welcome everybody who came in a little bit later I see many still coming in but we're gonna get started with the meditation So wherever you are on the earth, just find your place of comfort and connect yourself to this moment which is here for you. It's a protected moment, it's a moment of, of peace, of reunion, of remembering. Awakening. And the field this week is so strong. It's like a garden with flowers and fruit and vegetables that is offered to us. So within the turmoil of times we can take from these fruits to nourish ourselves and to rise to rise in the name of the one we call Sophia, the divine feminine in all of us, men and women, the creator of creations. And it is in her we recognize Mary Magdalene as one of her expressions as we all are. So just take a moment to go inside, to watch your breath, the source of life, and find a rhythm in your breath that feels like a flowing river. Just smooth, flowing in and out and feel how your body reacts to this just bringing your attention inside is the greatest gift of life for you And we connect to all the waters around the globe. They hold the intelligence of life. And in your own way, you can express your gratitude to the purest of water. <coughs> We connect to the waters of Mary Magdalene all around the world and here in Vézelay at the fountain of Mary Magdalene where the purest of water is pouring out of the eternal hill move a little bit deeper inside of yourself 
and move inside the sacred space of your heart. Just move there by intention. And when you arrive in this place, just look around. You might see energies. There is light inside of the sacred space of the heart. And there is spaciousness and silence. It is an infinite space inside of you. Now connect to the silence inside of your heart. And observe yourself for a moment to become silent and even more silent and empty. Just be the empty vessel ready to receive what is in the field to be received for you. And from here we connect with all of us in this circle, in this global circle of life, heart to heart. And we envision one circle of light, all hearts to together and connected. And in this circle of light, we hold each other. And we rise because we are together as one. And in the center of our circle, we greet Mary Magdalene with her beloved Jeshua. We connect to their field of love, their oneness, the energy that they hold for all of us. we see that they are accompanied by the lion and the lioness from the beginning of times. These are the etheric lion and lioness that come from the etheric lion realms from the beginning of times on earth. They hold the key to nobility integrity and courage and they are here today with us to share this energy with all of us see the center of this circle with mary magdalene joshua the lion and the lioness And in the center, there's a light so bright, a united solar light coming from their hearts, radiating towards all of us. And I invite you to open your hearts as much as possible for you to let your inner sun receive the light of these beings as a gift for today. 
you might want to breathe it in when the light comes into your heart and see how your inner light starts to increase and increase it fills your body And allow your body, by intention, to receive all of this light in its cells, in the deepest, tiniest particles of our physical body. And we do it in a pace that is good for the body, which is different for everybody. Just allow the light to come in as a gift of today. And with this solar light, from the heart of the great central sun, the temple of the Christ of Sophia, we receive coats of awakening Every, every being receives its own codes of awakening, universal intelligence. You don't have to do anything, just open up and receive. Let it flow inside of you like the waters of the earth. And let it connect to your inner water. You are water. Water in spaciousness. As we do this, we see all of the waters on earth lightening up in a diamond, pearlescent radiance. All of the waters. And we see Gaia Earth reacting to this vital water with abundance all of the kingdoms the plant kingdoms the animal kingdoms the elemental kingdoms they all rise in vitality as we rise with them. And while this process continues, now and for the coming days, maybe even longer, I invite you to connect with the lions. These etheric lions embody nobility and courage. And I invite you to connect to them eye to eye inner eye to inner eye and observe and feel the incredible divine power of the lion realms you 
They are deeply connected to Gaia Earth and all of us. And they come here as a gift for strength and power and courage. So take a moment in silence to connect to the lions and see what they are here for to bring to you. Their etheric presence alchemically moves into a golden radiance and you feel you start to merge with the energy of the lion. Feel this power inside of you that rise, rises inside of you. So you fully rise up. Feel the strength and the courage to be exactly as you are. And bring that energy of nobility and integrity and pure vital life force to any area in your life that you would like to bring it to by intention. You might notice that the space of your heart becomes more and more spaciousness, golden light increasing and increasing inside of you, anchoring in your body, anchoring on earth. We now take a moment to thank the lions. And you can work with them any moment you feel called to when you need courage or accompaniment. So you feel empowered. You become more and more the empowered you. Sovereign, radiant, pure presence. And now move back to the sacred space of the heart. And see Mary Magdalene in the center of our circle waiting for you. She's holding the chalice. The chalice overflowing of Christed diamond light and from this chalice a second chalice arises which she now is offering to you 
as a gift for today. When you're ready, you receive the challenge. And in the challenge, in the diamond lights, this plasma, pure, pure love in light energy, you receive exactly what it is that you need to receive now from her. This can be anything. And whenever you're ready, you are invited to bring the challenge into your heart. So it can merge with your inner sun. You receive the infinite life source inside of you. And with this chalice you can work every day to receive what it is you need to receive. And while our circle around the globe is increasing and increasing in presence and radiance, we now invite in anyone that comes to mind, that is ready to receive or is in need to receive all of this loving power. This can be human beings, beings from the animal, plant or elemental kingdoms, the minerals. Just bring in anything that arises that is ready to receive from the abundance of our chalice. And we share. We share from our hearts. While we are doing so, we notice the angelic realms with us.
and when the roses or the rose arises in your heart, receive it in gratitude. There are so many roses blossoming. And while we are coming back into the circle of the sacred space of our hearts, we take a moment to give thanks to Mary Magdalene, Joshua, the lion and the lioness, with the intention that all of us in the circle of light our sovereign beings walking the way of love with nobility and courage exactly how we are meant to be living solar beings So take your time to thank them. And take your time to thank each and every one in this circle, this moment, all around the globe. We know each other by heart. And we thank you for being with us. And we stay connected and slowly bring your attention back to your physical body. Observe your breath. Observe your body. And be with it. Be aware of this beautiful challenge that is inside of you. And slowly start moving your body. You can stay your eyes closed or open as you like. Feel your body, you might want to touch it. Be very gentle on your body. Many things are changing in the body at the moment. So take extra good care of her and of Gaia.
We thank you for being with us on this beautiful Mary Magdalene's feast day. We thank you from all of the participants here in Vesele. You can't see them, but we can. <laughs> They're beautiful. <laughs> so thank you for being with us as one big family around the globe. We love you and we wish you a blessed day. Namaste. Namaste.